Okay, continuing with my for loop patterns, and this time using a longer string, and trying to get the colors in line, I'm going to do a funny thing. I'm going to rotate one half towards, one half away, one half away, and one half away, and then I'm going to take my thumb loop up, and my little finger loop up, and my two center loops up through each other, and that's once. And now I'm going to rotate one half toward, one half away, one half away, one half away, and again, up through, up through, and the center. Now, since I rotated one half each time and done it twice, I have my top and bottom strings or the transverse strings. But I want to do this one more time towards myself, away, 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 up through, up through, up through, and up through. And then I'm going to rotate the entire figure one half when rotated away from myself so that I roll the figure completely over and now since it's been three times my aunt, my transfer strings are in the wrong place and so I must do it one more time toward away 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 my index strings my transfer strings are in the proper position up through up through up through, up through, and now I'm going to finish with my for loop in a week and see what sort of figure I get from that series of maneuvers. Okay, there it is. It's, very, it's, it's interesting in the sense that you have a green, a green and a red in between. I suppose that if I were to continue doing it, I would alternate green and red. I like the center. Use my tongue there to make that little red X right in the center. So that it is a very pleasing hexagonal kind of figure. And I have my greens running the length of the figure going over the two red transverses and I like that figure. It is just another of the many, many four loop figures you can form using a two colored string.